In the future, no matter you like it or don't like, we will enable every young people, every small business to buy global, sell globally, and deliver globally, and pay globally, and travel globally, just maybe with a mobile phone, even without a, with a passport. This is the trend. Nobody can stop it. Have you ever stopped to think about how interconnected the world has become? From the rise of globalization to the rapid advancements in artificial intelligence, our lives have been transformed. Today, we dive deep into the fascinating realm where these two forces collide. But before we go on, let me first explain to you the meaning of these two words in a simple way everyone can understand. Globalization refers to the process of increasing interconnectedness and integration of economies, societies, and cultures worldwide. It involves the exchange of goods, services, information, and ideas across national borders, leading to the creation of a global network of economic, social, and cultural interactions. Artificial intelligence, often abbreviated as AI, refers to the development and implementation of computer systems that can perform tasks that would typically require human intelligence. AI technologies aim to simulate human cognitive abilities, such as learning, problem solving, and decision making using algorithms, data, and machine learning. These systems can analyze vast amounts of information, recognize patterns, and make predictions or decisions with varying degrees of autonomy. That's it. My name is Abraham and I am your host. And if you stick with me until the end of this video, I'll share with you the main reasons why I made this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons next to our logo below. So grab your popcorn or your headphone and get ready for an exciting journey into the future. Remember as always, I will be using movies, books and online videos for more comprehension. where borders are more porous and information flows free, globalization has revolutionized our lives. Just like the characters in our favorite films, we are now part of a global network connected through the internet and social media. Well, that's the power of globalization right at our fingerprints. Remember the scene from the movie The Social Network when Mark Zuckerberg connects people from all over the world through Facebook? What's the package? Nothing. Mackie. Yes, sir. Refresh. And you're not a hugger. I know. <laughs> One million. And who can forget the futuristic world of Blade Runner, where globalization has created a melting pot of cultures, languages, and ideas. There is an order to things. That's what we do here. We keep order. It's a testament to the diverse and interconnected world we live in today. And of course, we can't talk about AI without mentioning The Matrix. This iconic film raises questions about the balance of power between humans and machines, reminding us that our future lies in our hands. You cannot stop him, but I can. And if you fail, I won't. As globalization brings us closer together, artificial intelligence is evolving at an unprecedented pace. From self-driving cars to AI-powered healthcare, our world is being reshaped. This is so cool. I'm nervous but excited. What's the longest you've ever driven a vehicle autonomously? I'm going to go auto by pressing this button. Oh my gosh! <laughs> But what does this mean for us? To better understand the impact of these forces, let's turn to some insightful books. In the World is Flat by Thomas L. Friedman, we discover how globalization has leveled the playing field, enabling individuals and businesses to collaborate across continents. In Superintelligence, Paths, Dangers, Strategies by Nick Bostrom, the author delves into the potential risks and benefits of advanced AI. It's a captivating read that challenges us to consider the consequences of our actions. 
And let's not forget enlightening of online videos by Yuvono Harari, the author of Homo Deus, A Brief History of Tomorrow. Since the very beginning of the computer age, in the middle of the 20th century, and this fear has inspired many science fiction classics like The Terminator or The Matrix. Now, while such science fiction scenarios have become cultural landmarks, they haven't usually been taken seriously in academic and scientific and political debates, and perhaps for a good reason. In his talk, he discusses how AI and globalization will shape the future of work, challenging us to adapt and evolve. Because science fiction scenarios usually assume that before AI can pose a significant threat to humanity, it will have to reach or to pass two important milestones. First, AI will have to become sentient and develop consciousness, feelings, emotions. Otherwise, why would it even want to take over the world? Secondly, AI will have to become adept at navigating the physical world. Robots will have to be able to move around and operate in houses and cities and mountains and forests, at least as dexterously and efficiently as humans. If they cannot move around the physical world, how can they possibly take it over? Now that we have a broader perspective, let's explore the advantages and disadvantages of ceding human control to these powerful forces. On one side, globalization and AI promise increased efficiency, productivity, and economic growth. Access to affordable products, services, and information has never been easier. With a mobile phone, you can global buy. You want to buy something from Kenya? You just click. You want to buy something from Norway? You click. Global buy. Global sell. If you're a small thing, without internet, you can only sell in your village or small town. Today, you can sell across the world. However, the rapid pace of change brings challenges. As AI takes over routine tasks, there is a potential loss of jobs. We've seen this in movies like Ex Machina and The Terminator, where machines surpass human capabilities, leading to unintended consequences. Additionally, the massive amounts of personal data required by AI systems raise concerns about privacy and security. In a world driven by algorithms, our every move can be tracked and analyzed. Lack of accountability is another issue. When decisions are made by AI systems or driven by global economic forces, it becomes difficult to pinpoint responsibility. We must establish regulations and ethical guidelines to ensure fair and responsible practices. Lastly, some critics worry that globalization and AI will homogenize cultures. But let's not forget that globalization has also provided an opportunity for cultural diversity to flourish, breaking down barriers and fostering understanding. I would say in the future, there will be no made in China, no made in America, no made in Peru. It's going to be made on the internet. Despite the challenges, there is hope on the horizon. Technology can be a powerful tool in our quest for maintaining human control. Let's dive deeper into how we can shape the future. AI and machine learning are advancing rapidly, creating new possibilities. By leveraging these technologies, we can automate routine tasks, allowing humans to focus on creative and complex work that requires our unique skills. Governments and companies have a crucial role to play in this transition. They must invest in retraining programs to equip workers with the skills needed for jobs that AI cannot easily replace. I think globalization did a fantastic job in the past 30 years, enriched a lot of countries, but of course caused a lot of problems, right? Young people do not have opportunities, small business have not opportunities, Develop developing countries were neglected, but it's only 30 years. It's a baby. It's a growth. You have to improve it. To ensure the responsible development and use of AI, regulations and oversight are essential. From bias testing to privacy protection, we need comprehensive frameworks that balance innovation with ethical considerations. Global cooperation is key. We must come together as a global community to address the challenges and opportunities presented by globalization and AI. By fostering inclusive values and diversity, we can shape a future that benefits all of humanity. The first globalization in a human history was controlled by few kings. 
and empress. Na last 30 years, globalization was controlled by 60,000 big companies. If you're not among the big companies, if you're not in the big, powerful countries, you don't have a chance. The next 30 years, I bet, we will, be, we will have 6 million or 16 million or 16 million companies get involved in globalization. And I, I'm sure we will make it happen. In conclusion, the rise of globalization and artificial intelligence has ushered in a new era of possibilities and challenges. It's a future where humans and machines coexist, shaping our world together. As we navigate this rapidly changing landscape, let's remember that we are still in the driver's seat. By embracing diversity, promoting responsible innovation, and working together, we can steer the course towards a fair and prosperous future. Like I mentioned earlier, I want to tell you why I made this video. First and foremost, let me clarify that my intention is not to promote globalization or AI machines by attempting to convince you of their greatness, despite the fact that we have indeed been benefiting from them. The main reason is because I want to share the information I have learned about what the future holds. Now I don't claim to know everything that believe in the power of sharing and caring. I'm bigger because I know how small I am. Hmm. So it's my pleasure to pass on what I have learned. Another major reason is that I want to help your mind to be prepared and aware of what lies ahead. Knowing what the future holds can make a big difference in how you navigate life. Based on my knowledge and experience backed by science, many people who suffer from depression or even ending up in their lives do so because their minds can't reconcile the information they have with the reality they face. For better understanding, let me explain with a couple of examples. Imagine you have some people you consider your closest friends, but later discover that they've been betraying you or trying to bring you down. Or picture someone you depend on for your well-being, whether it's a parent, spouse, or anyone else you can think of. Now, due to the inevitable nature of life, circumstances arise where that person passes away or leaves you. Now, carefully think about what happens as a result of these situations. It often leads to depression, especially for those with sensitive hearts. And some may even resort to drug abuse or give up on life. And one of the big main reasons behind this scientifically is that their minds weren't ready and aware that anything can happen. Keep in mind that all videos I'll be making on this channel have one purpose, to assist people in understanding a little bit about life, enabling them to adapt to the realities and situations of this world. So globalization is neither good nor bad, in fact, but it is here to stay. What should all of us do to actually prepare for this and to benefit from this? you should learn more about history. Because globalization actually in some ways is predictable. It's happened before. And so studying history and understanding history will help you to understand what's gonna happen in globalization next. Travel, learn other cultures, learn a language. Try to understand what, what it's like in other places. So, my fellow adventurers, as the world evolves, let's stay curious, informed, and ready to make a difference. Together, we can create a future that exceeds our wildest dreams. Until next time, stay inspired and keep exploring. I'd like to live in a world where the benefits are shared among a wider range of people, where globalization is no longer seen as bad as it was when I was a university student, but is enormously seen as good, and a society that is open, multilateral, and has more abundance than ever before in history. That is the future I see for globalization. That's the future I want. That's the future I hope you want. That's why I'm in China. Thank you.